Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Quick fact. 67% of you guys that watch this channel are not subscribed, so go on ahead and head down and hit that subscribe button. But in this video, I'm gonna bring you guys the top 3.5 stocks that are trading at the 52 week lows. What is a 52 week low? A 52 week low means that a company price has dropped and is trading at a price lower than it has been trading in the last 52 weeks, in the last 365 days, in the last year, guys. Now, there are a couple of things that can make a company trade like that. The first way is that the company the previous year was overhyped and the price stock way above a fair trading value and it's just starting to pull back to what the market would deem a fair trading value for that stock so the first way is that it was overhyped the previous year and people are starting to take profit because they see that it's overpriced and the market is starting to pull back on that stock the second way that a company crashes like that which is my favorite way is through bad news now if a company is getting sued uh some lawsuits is out about a company they see tweeted something dumb um, that came out with a bad product anything like that any bad news that makes the market overreact to where a company pulls back and start to trade at a 52 week low I love that type of bad news guys and then the third way is actual bad news like a company fired their CEO they changes their business strategies they change their business models um, their decontinuing a product there are a number of things that could fundamentally change about a company that would not be good about the company's future and the growth of that company and that kind of bad news right there is what i call um, a fundamental change of a company and we want to stay away from stocks like that so the companies i'm going to bring you in this video are on the good side of the pullback guys so we're going to look i'm going to bring you guys the top 3.5 stocks in this video that has the potential to rebound and we could swing trade it right on back up to the top or we could dollar cost average into these amazing stocks at a fair price but before we dive into this video this video is brought to you by webull sign up now by clicking the link down in the description to deposit any amount of money you could deposit one penny if you want to and you will receive three free stocks valued up to three thousand three hundred dollars with those three free stocks you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it or you could sell those three free stocks and withdraw all of your money. Guys, it's literally free money. Also, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to Coinbase. Coinbase is by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. You can receive a free $10 worth of Bitcoin by using my code in the description. And the last link is to Mumu. Sign up, deposit $100, and you'll receive five free stocks valued up to $17,000. Once again, you could keep them inside the platform and use it, or you can sell your five free stocks and withdraw all your money. Guys, it's free money. Do not miss out on this opportunity. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers, here we are. The first stock I'm gonna bring you guys is Facebook our meta platforms aka facebook ticker symbol fb here we are on the four hour chart and let's zoom all the way back as you guys can see all the way from 2021 right here if we go all the way over facebook is now at a 52 week low it's lower than it's been trading in the last 52 days but once again guys if we took at the long-term trajectory of facebook facebook is a pretty decent company and it's been going up over the last um decade or so guys so facebook is a decent company to invest into it's a company that i've been dollar cost air averaging into so if we go back to the four hour chart as you guys can see facebook just had an earnings report and during the earnings report they showed that they was investing quite a bit of money over into over into the metaverse and they didn't re and they did not meet their expectations they was down by 4.4 percent on the expectations from the earnings so people the market overreacted oh facebook is pouring too much money into the metaverse they're not going to be profitable for the next 10 years if they continue to do this uh are they going to make that money back from virtual reality so the question is in the air if, if meta platforms facebook is going to be profitable 
um, during that next couple of earnings report since they're investing so much money into the platform. So the market did overreact. And as you guys can see, there is a big major gap. This is the bad news that we're looking for is this gap right here, all the way from around $279. And this gap right here where it's no trading volume because it just took a major dip all the way down to $246. And we already draw some support and resistance zones over in the Discord so that we could uh, possibly swing trade this one in the future. So if we do get in around the 200 hopefully facebook pulls back to the 200 dollars price point that would be an awesome price point for me to get in on facebook uh, so i'll buy a couple of shares of facebook at 200 dollars. if it pulled back some more to 180 i'll buy some more at 180 and if it pulls back to 160 I'm, I'm gonna load up at 160 but the thing is i'm gonna wait until facebook starts to really trend back up so this green 200 ema line right here the exponential moving average line once it starts to point upward that's why i'm really gonna start the dollar cost in back on facebook so i could start setting up a good position to swing trade this right on back up to this area of uncertainty and while people are uncertain in this area that's where i'm going to be selling and taking profits so um i could be a little bit more patient wait for facebook to pull back so for example if facebook pulls back to 200 i'll buy one share if facebook pull back to 180 I'll buy three shares. If it pulls back to 160, I'll buy six shares. So I'm dollar cost averaging down so that um, my the average cost of my price won't be so much. And then when it starts to trend back up, let's say it does pull back to 160, I dollar cost average in, let's pull out the measuring tool and we buy up to 10, 15 shares on the way down to um, 160. When it gets back to the middle of this uncertainty zone, that is a profit of 67% guys, give or take here and there because we did buy some at 200 and 180. But that kind of swing trade is a home run for me. We do not have to wait until Facebook completely recovers all the way back up to its all time high of $381. We're gonna take a 68% profit in the area of uncertainty. So, so this is the best strategy that I use when a stock take a dip. All right, guys, before I bring you the next great company that is trading at a 52 week low, if you guys would like to sign up for Patreon, I'm gonna leave that link down in the comment section. The Patreon will take you to my Discord. Inside of the Discord, I post every single time I buy and sell stocks. I post my swing trades and I post technical analysis just like this inside of the Discord. We have also professional, we also have pro traders inside of the Discord that post um, day trading options every single day inside of the discord and people are finding some success um taking those trades inside of the discord so if you want to swing trade like me um they trade like others inside of the discord or option trades like our pro traders post then you might want to check out the link in the comment section to my patreon which will take you to the discord and you'll have knowledge to a whole bunch of information from a great community of traders all in one place so, so if you guys want access to a whole bunch of information check out that link down in the comment section so let's go ahead and dive into stock number two which is t-r-o-w all right here we are on t-r-o-w t-r-o is it is a investing firm all right here we go it's, it's a publicly owned investment manager it's a firm that provides services to individuals institutions investors so basically they're just like an investing firm and if we go over to their dividends they've been around for a long time guys they, they have increased their dividends every single year for the last 35 years and they have a dividend yield of 3.35 percent if we take a look at t row of course their all-time high is all the way up here at around 224 dollars and they took a major major dip from the all time high down to the low of around down 36% since they was at their all time high. But to me, that's not much of a concern because if we take a look at the long term, right now, if you take a look at the long term, this is over the last couple of years, you see that guys, they do take their dips every now and then. Back in 08, they took their dip. Back in 2011, they took their dip. Back in 2018 they took their dip and of course the pandemic dip and here is a dip and the things that's very um interesting to me is that right now it is at the fair value i always find that the 200 ema line is a pretty fair value line for me and it's looking like it might bounce right off this line if not pull back just a little bit more but, but right now according to my technical analysis 144 143 dollars seems like a fair value and if we go back to the four hour chart and i'm show you guys something very interesting um let's hit auto so if we go right here and let's say from here 
to here, you guys see that it is in a downtrend. Obviously, it's inside a downtrend. But if we look at the RSI on the same mark right here, let's scroll all the way down and put a click right there and then go up. So as you guys can see, um, the stock price is pulling down, but the RSI is going up. That is called a divergence. So when you see a divergence inside of the market, that it means that it is time or due for a reversal. So I'm going to keep my eye very close on this one. I'm going to set up some alerts and, and post it inside the Discord. So if you guys want to know exactly when I get in on TROW, then go ahead and click that link down in the comment section. So let's move over to stock number three, PayPal, PYPL. You guys all know what PayPal is. And of course, the news that came out on PayPal, none of the companies are taking a big dip because something fundamentally has changed about them. But um, a lot of them are missing their earnings report because of the over expectations. So we scroll back to the last couple of earnings. As you guys can see, it's a gap right here because they miss expectations. Um, they beat earnings right here, but the stock, stock continue to pull back. They beat earnings right here, but the stock continue to pull back so you guys are wondering if they beat the earnings report why is the stock starting to pull back well like i told you guys at the beginning of the video as you guys can see it was very well overhyped the previous year and it shot up to all-time highs of around 309 dollars for paypal guys this is for paypal it shot all the way up to around 309 310 dollars so of course even though they was beating the earnings report a couple of changes did happen in the company but nothing major they still continue to pull back and now it's looking like it's starting to pull back to around a fair value before before it started to take off a year ago so if we draw out some support and resistance lines right here is a pretty good one and well really let's draw the zone i don't like drawing out lines let's draw the zone so if we pull out the rectangle tool right here and draw this zone that would be all anything under a hundred dollars for PayPal. anything under a hundred dollars for paypal will be i'm going to dollar cost averaging into that but so this is a, a awesome zone for us to get in on paypal somewhere inside of this um 99 price zone right there on paypal so paypal is a company that has been performing very well over the last couple of years they meet their earnings almost every single earnings except for one right here back in may 2020 and the most recent earnings right here and the price is starting to take a dip so if it pulls all the way back to under 100 dollars paypal is going to be another great buying opportunity so let's go ahead and pull up the last stock of the 3.5 this one is a 0.5 because it's not quite at a 52 week low it's starting to rebound a little bit but the one this company right here unity is one that i absolutely love so they did pull back near a 52 week low um 2021 was around a period they started at 150 it got all the way down to around 79 dollars and then as you guys can see throughout the throughout 2021 it started to get overhyped it shot up the metaverse um name shot up inside of the stock market so this stock went all the way up to 209 dollars at one point and of course people said hey it's trading at a very very high price right now i don't see it at a fair value so people start to take profit and started to sell off in the green ma line just crossed the 300 ma line so that is another indicator that showed me that this it could still be in the pullback but i'm going to keep a very close eye on this one it's not quite at the 52 week low but it did the one that i the reason i put this in here is because it did break the downtrend line that i had drew out a couple of weeks ago on unity it did break that downtrend line so i just started to trend back up that could have been a quick swing trade for us to take some profit but it's looking like this is a good resistance zone anywhere from 112 dollars to 118 dollars so we could dollar cost average in on any of these zones down here so if it pulls back from 91 to 85 ish dollars that would be a good uh, price points to get into it could use this um, line right here as a support zone and it do not want to break below that this zone right here so, but i do see unity trading in between these two zones for the next couple of weeks but if you do break above this uh, resistance zone that's right here then unity might start to recover um unity is a platform that i use all the time every video game i play um every star wars film i watch on disney plus they use the unity software so i do see this company especially everything happening in the metaverse coming up soon i do see them eventually somewhat recovering above the 150 dollars price point within the next year or two guys so that is the 0.5 stock that i'm going to bring you guys in this video
And there you go, dreamers. If you made it to the end of this video, only 15% of your subscribers have hit that notification bell. So make sure that you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos just like this one. Let me know down in the comment section of any other 52 week lows that you are investing into currently at the moment. Comment that down in the comment section. I'd love to make a part two of this video if it's a great company. Now, don't just throw some horrible company down in the comment section that they ain't got no chance of recovering like hurts or anything like that uh, i dropped down some good quality stocks that maybe just had some bad um news come out lately that just took a major 30 40 percent dip that we could get in and swing trade that right back on up to the top drop those companies down in the comment section but other than that, guys, don't forget to pick up your three free stocks with Rebo. It's literally free money. I would not be telling you guys about it if it wasn't free money, guys. So don't forget to pick that up. Other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.